Hello, this is Bruce with TheBalloonWorld.com here tonight with, uh, with another video. Um, what I'm going to do tonight is another face um, just to give you some more um, variety uh, and show you some of the stuff that I do. We're going to start out with some eyes pre-made, a nose pre-made, and a little, what I'll show you later, that goes with the, uh, the face. Um, this is a Blush 260 blown up four pumps with the um, with the Qualitex one-way pump I always use and then we have a Pearl Magenta 160 blown up with about a four inch tail actually two of them, two Pearl Magenta 160's okay so start out this twist by making a one inch pinch twist and we're only going to do the head on this one um, because I want to show you some variety and the reason I'm doing this head is because um, when I was 12 years old, I had a paper route, and a lot of times I try to uh, twist things that I uh, remember from the past or even from the present. Anyway, a one-inch pinch twist, about a four-inch bubble, and then another one-inch pinch twist. And we're going to come back across here for the head uh, five times. Um, four, just normal. Same, same exact, uh, as close as you can get to the same size. And then the last one. Uh, we're going to make it a little, we're going to take, blow some of the air out, push some of the air out of it, out of that twist, and uh, uh, like this right on the top. It's going to be the last one. I'm going to make it thin on the top like that, because we're going to need, um, we're going to need it for a hairline. Okay, so we go right there, roll it around a couple of times, and we've got the thin one on the top that off and we've got our standard regular uh, five balloon head um, tied the knot and there we go okay and uh, there's our thin one on the top which we're going to use uh, in just a minute okay so now that we've got the face ready to go we're going to do the hair and this is where this is where this, this twist is a little different from others um, locate the skinny uh, bubble on the top of the head and make a real small, about a half inch bubble, starting after you wrap the, uh, the uh, balloon around the ear. And then make a flower petal that's about three fingers. Okay, and then another small bubble, real small, about a quarter of an inch. It's just a spacer. And then another flower petal, about the same size. And then we'll make another small spacer right there, and then about a one inch pinch twist in this balloon, okay? And then you're going to take that one inch pinch twist and push it right down into the crack between that thin bubble on top and what will later become uh, the forehead of this little balloon, just like that, okay? And then another little spacer, about a quarter of an inch, another, what's it going to end up be a lock of hair. Another spacer, just real small, and then a lock of hair. I'll make this one a little bit longer because they're not supposed to look very uniform. We'll bring those across, and then a little spacer again to bring it into this ear and tie it right in there like that. Okay, so what we've got here is um, this is going to be the front of the little lady we're making, and uh, what this is, is I had a paper route when I was 12 years old. We used to go to a laundromat every morning to pick up our papers before school. And there was a lady that ran the laundromat, and this is her. This is what she looked like. She was always in a pink robe. Um, her hair was either in curlers or just got out of curlers. It's kind of wild, going all over the place. And, uh, and she had some other characteristics that I'm going to add to here in just a minute. So, um, take the other two, 160 and, and um, tie it into the, the ear where you stopped on the other one. Make make the small. Um, actually, I'm not going to make a spacer to start this one. I'm going to start this one right out with a twist, with a with a flower petal, and then the spacer. Just a small little quarter inch bubble spacer, and then another flower petal. Make this one kind of small because you want to have some variety. And then a spacer, and then the one inch pinch twist. like that. OK, 
Okay, and then we're going to locate that right up here on the top. Here's that thin bubble that we had for the top, and here's where we put the other things. First. We're going to put this one right in the same, under the same bubble, just at a different, uh, right in the middle, but under that same bubble. And then a spacer, another flower petal, spacer, flower petal, and I'm going to add one extra one back here, just so she looks a little bit extra pretty, uh, at least the way I remember her. Okay, and then bring that down around uh, the, the opposite ear and roll that in. Okay, so my intention with this twist is to have a, a lady that looks like she's at a coin operated laundry mat. She's cleaning out the, uh, the coin. She's giving people change. And she's watching us pack up our paper bags to get ready and go out and deliver the paper. Okay, there's your hair. I'm going to leave this one here. A little wild hair going off. Pinch twist this one. Leave a little bit. Just like that. And uh, there she is. Okay. Uh, let's put her nose in. This is just like we always do. I've been done before. Just bring it right down through. Like this. Uh, take the little eyes. Push the eyes in. You can push it in about as far as you want to. Make them bigger or smaller. That looks about right. And then, this lady, the thing I always remember about her is she always had a cigarette hanging out of her mouth. For better or for worse. So I just made this, blew up this little bubble with a little piece of a white 260. Painted the end with some black for the ashes and a little red. And then, just to give her that extra view touch that I remember so well, I can tell you she always had smeared lipstick. It was on the cigarette, it was on her coffee cup that she was drinking out of in the morning. And probably what made her so re re remarkable and uh, what we re remember her so much. Give her some eyes with the paint stick. and some, some brows, and there she is. I never knew her name, but her hair always came right out of curlers, and, uh, and then you can take her and make the body. Uh, a nice pink weave would be nice for her robe to put on her body, and you've got something different there to variations uh, for the hair, but uh, there's the, the laundromat lady that I remember as a kid. All right, this is Bruce with the balloonworld.com. Thanks for watching.